Shipping companies will soon have access to the 5G network for potential life and death situations at sea. But the technology is also set to be a game changer across the maritime sector, including security surveillance and onboard welfare checks. Chloe Chu with this report. You get a gash while carrying out duties on board, but there's no medical help in sight. Who do you call? The teledoctor, of course. Let's have your dressing removed. We'll take a look uh, at the dressing and any pain or fever over the last few days. And 5G technology is making all this possible. From the high-speed video consult to the drones delivering medical supplies. Because the coverage is seamless, the drone works fantastically well. And in a small yacht that we were in today, uh, with a very small landing area, uh, the drone still managed to drop the medicine in the landing area of a yacht. Now imagine there's a ship, the landing area is much bigger. Telecommunications company M1 and healthcare company Fullerton Health are rolling out the service this July for seafarers and shipping companies. It's part of broader plans to provide 5G offshore coverage for the southern coast of Singapore. What we saw was a reenactment of what the future holds with better connectivity through 5G. It could improve access to medical help and save lives. Even though the demo was specific to the maritime industry, the implications of 5G are widespread. Also being rolled out, 5G maritime applications for surveillance, security and wearable tech for health checks. It all ties into Singapore's plans for a maritime 5G network across anchorages, fairways, port terminals and boarding grounds. When completed by mid-2025, it will make Singapore the first port in the world to provide full 5G connectivity across its port waters. And already, 5G is gaining ground in multiple applications across various sectors. That can apply to so many different businesses from maritime, but also health, payments, supply chain, manufacturing, buildings, retail, um, so many different areas. And when you start to layer technologies such as AI and machine learning into video feeds and information, that starts to then further evolve the way you can interact and provide value to the consumer or value to the businesses that, you, uh, that we're working with. Even before 5G takes full flight, Mr. Yong says countries are more opportunistic now, with some nations setting their sights on 6G connectivity.